Hi everyone, it's Lindy King. I'm with California College Transfer and today I'm going to do a short little video on uh, the engineering majors uh, for transfer students. But before I do that, I just want to talk about a huge thing that's happened with the UCs that is really an incredible boon for transfer students and that is that the UCs have finally released the uh, admitted GPA range of transfer students for every single major at every single UC. Before, UCLA was the only uh, university that would give the uh, admitted uh, average transfer GPA uh, by major so you would have to go look at that which was great because it gave you at least an idea of you know what the GPAs were for the people that got into each major and then you but then you would have to use it and kind of have to extrapolate and figure out well Berkeley's would probably be a little higher San Diego's slightly lower and kind of work your way down but now the UC's have it so every single UC by every major will give you the range of GPAs for the admitted transfer so it's a great way for you to know if you're competitive you really need to be in the range for whatever major you apply to if it's totally out of your league, you know, really need to rethink about your major. So um, anyway, so I have a link to that UC site that where you can play around with every single UC and major uh, below in the comments. I also have an infographic of just Berkeley and UCLA's engineering majors. There are six Berkeley ones and seven UCLA ones. And I have it on all together in one infographic that you can conveniently um, have to look at. That's also in a link below. But okay, so let's start And I, as this particular one is transfer GPAs for admitted engineering majors at UC Berkeley for 2015. So first of all, as I said, there, was, there are six engineering majors at Berkeley. And what the UCs have done for every single major at every single UC is they have put the range in at the 25th percentile through the 75th percentile. That's the mid 50% of admitted students. So some are going to be higher. Obviously, those are going to be like, you know, obviously 4.0, those sort of things. And there are going to be some lower GPAs that got in that are lower than the 25th percentile, but there aren't going to be that many. And particularly for selective majors such as engineering, you really, really want to be in that competitive range. If you are slightly below, hopefully you've really got something you're bringing to the party, like some extracurricular activities that are related to engineering or something that's going to kind of elevate you. Uh, but there are some that get in below it, so just so you know, but you're not as competitive. And how you know how it ultimately plays out, maybe you put on a wait list, maybe you get in, really boils down to the other applicants of that particular year. So if you're a little under, you're just going to kind of hope that the applicant pool isn't maybe quite as strong as years past. So, okay, now we're going to go into the different majors. Starting with bioengineering. The GPA range was 388 to 3.98, meaning the 3.88 was the low 25th percentile. There were a few that got in under, but again, you want to try to stay in that range. There were 157 applicants, and seven were admitted. Now, here is the big thing. I think there's two things that are the most crucial for any major, but particularly selective. The GPA range and the admit rate. In this case, only 4% of the applicants got in. So it's a highly selective major. For engineering, all engineering at Berkeley, you really want to try to get A's in your major coursework um, as much as possible. So now we're going into civil engineering. The range was a little lower, 3.74 to 3.97. 246 applicants, 18 admitted. That's 7% admit rate. Now, electrical engineering. Uh, you can see the range there. Applicants, 1,116. 91 admitted with an admit rate of 8%. Engineering physics, masked GPA range. I'll explain that in a minute, what I think that means. Applicants, 21. Admitted, 4. And 19% admit rate. Now, I don't know why they've masked this GPA range. My instinct, just without knowing anything, is that the applicant pool was not that strong and the GPA range was lower than their um, standard and so they didn't want to announce it. There could be another reason, but I'm not really sure what other reason it would be but that. Industrial engineering, 
GPA range 3.83 to 3.91, applicants 46, admitted 10, and the admit rate 22%. As you can see, that's one of the higher ones. Um, I'll mention something about the admit rate and how it, it, it can be used possibly in the engineering majors to benefit you. Okay, so mechanical engineering 3.79 to 4. Applicants there, you can see that. Admitted there, 12% admit rate. Okay, so what I wanted to say, and the reason I brought up that I'm industrial engineering at 22% admit rate, sometimes people will say, well, you know what, maybe I should apply to something like that where it's a 22% admit rate, and then kind of, once I get in, kind of try to crab over to civil engineering, which is 7% admit rate. Is that doable? I cannot tell you if that's doable. I can say that at UCLA, various things I've heard anecdotally, and actually I've heard directly from the department, that once you're in the engineering college, you can make a switch. But, you know, only one person told me this. I can't verify it. But I have kind of heard that it's mm, fairly doable. Uh, in terms of Berkeley, I can't say. I will say that once you're in the department, it probably is easier to make a switch from one engineering major to another, but you know, I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not that department, so I can't say. It would be virtually impossible to try to get into engineering if we're in another college, but it might be workable. It's something you could consider, but I think you also have to take on to be happy if you don't, if you can't make the switch, that you're going to be happy like with industrial engineering. So that's really it. That's the six uh, majors. Um, as I said, I have an infographic for uh, 2015 transfers for both UCLA and Berkeley. It's uh, in the, on the, uh, noted below in the comments, and it has every single thing on one sheet. Um, again, I'm at cacollegetransfer.com, and thank you for watching this.